Welcome to skive.org and to Wildcat. The purpose of this video is to run through how to set up your development environment in Eclipse and in this case I'll be doing it in Windows. Uh, this video will be ideal if you're new to Skive or Wildcat and you want to start developing projects. I've assumed that you've already downloaded the demo.zip and that you've done the basic configuration checks and you're ready to go. I'm also assuming you've already downloaded Eclipse and you have it up and running. So to add the Wildcat project, File, New, Java Project, I'm going to use the project name Wildcat. I'm going to turn off the default location and go and browse for the location that I downloaded the zip to. In my case I've downloaded the zip to the base directory and C drive demo and so inside the demo folder is the Wildcat project folder. Press next. I want to make sure that my default output folder will be Wildcat Java EE, Wildcat .e, apps .jar. so just double check that it should be by default and then I'll press finish. Okay so I have the project I'll just expand it out. Now uh, I prefer to see things in hierarchical presentation so I'm just going to change that with the selector here, package presentation to hierarchical and that just seems to make more sense to me. The Wildcat project comes with some ant tasks which are for assisting the developer so I want access to those and I want easy access to them so I go to window show view and turn on the ant view it's over here on the right and then I drag the build.xml into the ant window and I can expand that out to see the tasks that are available the two key tasks here are the generate domain which does an entire validation of your Skype declaration Generate Domain also generates all of the domain classes that are used for the application. And Touch here which uh, tells JBoss to update the deployment. OK, so we've got everything set up and we're ready to do a test generate. So I'll just turn off the Welcome to JBoss window. And we're ready to do a Generate Domain. So I'll Generate Domain. It first validates my Skype declaration and then generates various classes that are required for the application. My build was successful so I'm in a fit state and I'm ready to go. Now there's a number of deployment options that I can do with JBoss. I guess the simplest is if you continue to use run.bat to start your server. Uh, you can make changes here and then touch to update the deployment uh, or restart the server and you'll see those changes take effect but I like to have a server set up in Eclipse that I can control uh, without having to change environments and to do that you'll need to install JBoss tools go to the help menu and choose the Eclipse marketplace search for JBoss and choose the JBoss tools which is correct for your version of Eclipse I've already got it installed so I'm going to cancel out I want to add in the server window, in my case Windows, Show View Other, go down to Server and Servers and click the link to create a new server. We're using Wildfly 8 and up. Uh, server hostname is localhost and I need to pick the home directory for Wildfly now I'm going to use the Wildfly that's included in the demo because that's already configured for my project. So I'll browse for that location, which in my case is C Demo and Wildfly 8.1. As I say, if I choose that one then all the configuration's already been done and I know it's in a state that can run. Standalone XML is my configuration file. Next, next and finish. OK, so I'm ready to start up my server. And once it's started, just to make sure I'm in the usual starting state, I will do the usual dev process. OK, so get into this practice of generate your domain, check there's no errors, refresh your Wildcat project, then touch. Uh, there's a warning there but I'll come back to that later. 
OK. And my deployment's been replaced and I'm ready to log in. So I'll switch to my browser. And assuming all of the defaults as per the demo, I'll be logging in at localhost colon 8080 slash wildcat. There's my app. Now the default administrator credentials for the download are the customer name is demo, the username is admin and the password is admin. And I've logged in. That's all for this video. Check out the third video in the Getting Started series which will take you through the development cycle and making first changes to your app.